Axel has a question about monitor upgrades and computer upgrades over the next couple of years. Disclaimer, this question relates to relatively high-end computers. Yes. I will give some slightly different advice to those of you who have slightly less, not super high-end computers. This is one of those subject areas where I think a lot of people read into a message and they don't realize that there could be two completely different sets of advice based upon somebody's use case and their expectations or their outcome. Correct. So with no further ado. Axel has a 5950X CPU, a 3090 GPU. He's got 64 gigs of RAM with a 4K and a 1440p high fresh screens, monitors. He's gonna replace the 1440p monitor with a 4K OLED, depending on uplifts as 4K is less viable for AAA over time. He wants to know his upgrade path on the CPU and GPU over these next two years. That is one heck of a use case, 4K. That is a heck of a use case. Multiple 4K monitors can be very demanding. However, Unfortunately, unlike many other questions we get, what's missing from this question? A budget. Use case. Uh, budget, um, games, and specific use case. Are you using it to make money? Are you using it as a hobby? He has a 5950X and a 3090. I hope budget's not the issue here. He's gonna go 4K OLED. I, my assumption is budget's not the problem. The problem is, I mean, is he gaming? Is it is it content creation? Well, he says triple A, but that's all you've got. I okay. I I, I didn't see triple A games. It's like my brain just erased the triple A. Fair enough. Well, no, he's not sixty five and any triple A. So, <laughs> so I take that as triple A games. He's almost already overdue for an upgrade at this point then because 4K is so demanding. You have got a very demanding use case and so you need demanding, you need hardware that can keep up. A 7950X, at this point a 7950X 3D or 13900K. Yeah, or wait for the 14900K. If you're gonna wait, Arrow Lake comes out next year, yep. the 15th gen comes out next year. 14th gen this year is a refresh. It's the same as 13th gen with a clock speed bump. So 15th gen comes out next year and Zen 5 comes out next year. That'll also be on AM5, but that'll be another probably 20, 25% performance uplift. Although I hear no more cores. Hmm. And if Arrow Lake has more cores. He says he's gaming for the most part, just multitasking a lot. So not using it for work. Okay, here's a great example, and I really want Rogue to share this because we have a, a, an interesting case to compare this to. At the office, our old video editing machine, which we have not taken apart yet, is a Ryzen 9 5950X. Mm -hmm. Our new video editing PC, which we built about a month ago, has an i9-13900K. How is the general performance difference doing a variety of tasks? Again, both machines. Yep. We have three 4K 144 hertz monitors attached to each machine. Mm -hmm. Yes, we have six of them, don't, don't judge me. <laughs> but we wanted two editing machines so we could yeah. be working on different things at the same time and so making them the same screens it's makes- so much easier. Oh my goodness, because we tried not doing that and that was awful. Yep. So I got a deal on them. He did. Because that's what I do. That's what you do. So, You've gone from the 5950X to the 13900K. And back again, yeah. I can do a lot more and a lot more efficient on the 13900K. I prefer to use the 13900K. I can edit, I can scrub, I can render. My computer just goes, what do you want me to do? And I'll do it. And I can do all of it at the same time. On the 5950X, that's not the case. The benchmarks don't necessarily indicate a blowout difference, but actually using the two machines, there is a difference. There's a responsiveness difference. There's a, the 1% lows will be much better, like for gaming, now we're talking about content creation. Correct. For gaming, the 1% lows on a 13900K will be way better than a 5950X. Like 30 to 40% better. 
the average frame rates will be better. However, if you're going to replace your system, you need a 4090. I'm sorry, you're going to 4K, you're going to AAA gaming. You, you need the best video card of every generation. You need a 4090 now, and you'll need a 5090, and a 6090, and a 7090, and you'll just be buying the 90 card for, like, ever. Ever. So you just need a plan for that. But it sounds like you can afford to do that. Mm -hmm. Don't skip generations for cards. You can skip CPU generations. For example, if you go to a 13900K today, or if you want to wait till October, the 14900K is coming out in October. It's Raptor Lake Refresh. It's the exact same chip, 24 cores, 32 threads, 8P, 16E cores. It's just about 200 megahertz faster. But if you want to wait till October, fine, do that. Then you would skip 15th and you would skip 16th because 15th and 16th are Arrow Lake and Lunar Lake respectively on LGA 1851. 17th gen in 2026, three years from now, will be on a new socket. It'll be Beast Lake. Mm -hmm. And what you'll do is you'll leapfrog to that for that generation. The 5090 is due out a year from now. Uh, 15 months, October of next year. Mm -hmm. Well, technically you could keep your 3090 till then. And if you want to, I mean, Hey, what do we always say? It's your money and your computer. You can mm -hmm. do what you want. And it's your budget. It's your budget and your computer. However, the 4090 is 80 to 90% faster than a 3090. This is not a small upgrade that is almost, but not quite double the performance outright. Mm -hmm. It is a really big, serious improvement. The lower end 40 cards weren't, but the 4090 is a beast. Your 3090, you could sell it today or repurpose it, but if you wait till next year to buy a 5090, then your 3090 will honestly be worth way less money. Yeah, and so whatever you save by not making the upgrade, you kind of lose in doing that, but that's a personal preference. And then in 2026, the 6090 will come out and you will definitely buy one of those whenever you do your next system upgrade. These high-end monitors, just are expensive. If you've got the money, run it. If you don't, you might need to reconsider. Well, as I said at the beginning of this, this advice sounds, oh great, Tech Deals is recommending 4090s again. He's recommending 13900Ks. Not everybody has the money. Well, somebody who bought a 5950X and an RTX 3090 and 64 gigs of RAM with multiple 4K monitors who wants to go to OLED, to everybody who thinks that sounds expensive, it is, and he's got the budget for it. I would remind everybody that an inexpensive 27-inch 1440p monitor can be had for $200. An RX 6700 XT can be had with 12 gigs of VRAM for $300. Mm -hmm. A i5 13600 k for $300 on a $150 Z690 motherboard with a BIOS update with 32 gigs of DDR4, 3600 for 50 bucks, and a two terabyte Gen 4 premium NVMe drive like a Samsung 980 Pro for 100 bucks is all you need to have fun with games. Everything beyond that is just luxury and nice to have. Well, actually, even that's luxury and nice to have. But he, he has a luxurious use case. He has the Rolls Royce of use cases. Yes, he does. But to everybody else watching this, it is possible to do this for way less money. It is. It is. There's the luxury experience, and then there's a good enough experience, a budget-wise experience. I think some people would argue with the 13600K being the budget-wise. You know, the true budget experience is an Xbox Series S well, yeah, for 200 bucks. 200 bucks, exactly. 1440p gaming for 200 bucks. Oof. Wow. That does not get the level of respect it deserves. No, I don't think so. Axel, I hope we helped you out. Um, you know, everybody else, leave your comments down below and let, let us know what you think. Do you agree? Disagree? It's expensive to keep up with the with the best. It is. And, Axel, thank you very much for your first super chat. All right. Bar None is back. Thank you, sir. Thanks for the advice and the drive and keep doing what you're doing, guys. I listen to you guys while long hauling. Well, thank you for doing that. Sweet. We appreciate it. Hope you have premium so you can be safe uh, doing that. 
I also have the Corsair 5000D and the glass somehow didn't break yet. Awesome. Oh wow, you got that in the back of your truck? Holy cow. Yeah, but you know why the glass didn't break? Oh man, I'm gonna get in so much trouble for saying this. Um, Cheap $70 cases with tempered glass have thin, cheap tempered glass and premium $170 cases have premium thick tempered glass. Did I say that out loud? I can tell the difference. Picking up and holding the glass in the nicer cases versus the cheap cases, they are not the same. Uh, you get what you pay for. You do. Axel just said thank you for the sound advice. I'll figure everything out while costing, uh, I'll coasting at 1440p. 1440, we'll put it this way, tech went back to 1440p because the 4K was getting a little too expensive to keep up, so. I used to have 4K monitors at home and I went, well, I'm at 1600p now, Wait, but that's but still less than 4K. It is. It's so much less demanding to run. It's so expensive to keep up with it. Yep. And it will keep be. We have the 4K monitors at work for work. Correct. We yes. Where all the videos that you see are are edited on, on those.